And I haven't been. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going down here. This way, and that way, and this way, and that way. Yeah, so I realized that the level 30 quest that you get actually is what uh, your job quest is what delves into the uh, summoner and the scholar. So because I haven't done it, I haven't unlocked it yet. So here we are. You're destroying it. Why do you destroy everything, Tiara? Oh my god. I almost killed them. I feel too bad. Are you staring at my microphone? I dropped something, yeah. It's extremely loud right now. Maybe a ghost? Maybe. Whoa! Alright, it's literally- She literally barks into my microphone. Like, her- her bark is so loud that it literally distorts my microphone at times. It's so bad. And I hear like the crackle in my ear and I hate it. Kiar! Oh my god! Oh! Stop barking! You're so loud! Just gonna pet with one hand and, uh... 
and fight the enemies with the other. Sorry, yeah, I had to click. I can't see. <laughs> Yeah, really. Yeah, hold on. promotes you to okay so always at level 30 He said he regrets adding jobs and should have just stocked with classes. Yeah, it's uh. Is Yoshi P somebody? <laughs> Did he design it? The game? Who's Yoshi P? Is the game dev? Ah. That's what I figured. Rip that guy. Yoshi. <laughs> Port to the Arcanist Guild. Uh, there it is. Yoshi. Hey, yo, look, it's Yoshi, bro. How you do? <laughs> All 
All right, let's see what we got here. Since most new classes at it, they're classes and not jobs, so he regrets making the jobs. And that's probably why all the like newer stuff, like you can start out as it. Uh, okay. Maybe I should pay attention to this part. Gets it. <laughs> Speak with who? Uh, who? Bond to put the North Pole golf in. Who? Bane spreads a target's bio and to nearby enemies. Ooh. Uh, potency reduce. The tie uh, is reduced by 60% for all remaining enemies. So in effect, 15% chance that bio and Mazma duration resets if shorter than original. Ooh, that's actually pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and plop that there, and that there, and that there, and that there. That way, pop, pop, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And that way, my DPS remains on people. Cool. Isn't there like uh over here closest is leather work i think for me at least leather works when you hit level 50 or whatever the reason wreck is are you able always able to, to make like that as a starting class going forward or not nah? that makes any sense wait I kind of just contradicted myself with everything I just said oops <laughs> hold on no problem Happy. me cat hitos Ketos? Gonna unlock this one and then we'll go up there. Now we go up here. Machitos. <laughs> Machitos. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the only jobs are the ones you pick the character creator and then all the other classes have a level you need to reach to access them. Example, Sam and RDM who need level 50. So Samurai and... Red Mage. Aha! Aha! I see now. Um, 
Astra and Dark Knight in a level 30. Okay. Astrology. Ah. Dancer and Gunbreaker need 60. Cool. Cool. Speak with, uh. Oh boy. Forgotten Sons. Is this, um. Ah, soul crystal. Upon, upon the surface, uh, crystals are carved by that summoners. Okay, so once I do this, then I'll get my summoner thing. And then Arcanist, I'm assuming, will turn into summoner. Uh, what's the fastest way to get here? Oh, okay. Apparently, I have this place in my... Ooh. I do think it's really cool and I've probably said this like five or six times now but I still think it's really neat that you can like at any time I potentially could just walk over to another class and be like hey I want to be this class now or I want to be this job now and then level that class up until uh whoa until whatever. I think that's really neat. That's why I love Final Fantasy 14, uh, because you can play as whatever you want at any time. But then like, so is there like, a way so say like say it right now i was like you know what forget this i want to go be a uh lancer like if i went to the lancer guild and joined up like what quests well obviously you would run the the job class like is that gonna level you enough to um like, what other quests would you do while doing the job quest? Do you... I know there's something like a... Isn't there like a tower or something that you run around like constantly? Like, there's like every 10 levels or so. And it bumps you and then like that levels you up really fast or something like that. From my understanding. Oh god, I'm in like a horrible area. Yeah, you do roulette. Oh, roulette's in... Palace of the Dead to help level. Okay. Wonder if I could have kept going down. That's what it's called. And okay. Is that in general faster to level? than it is to uh, do like what I'm doing right now. Palace being the deep dungeon that every 10 rooms you advance. And... Aha. I mean, like I'm gonna stick to the main, the story and the DLCs and stuff. That's a great way to level to one to 50. Did not mean to join. I'm honestly debating on joining these people. Wait, is there anybody else even doing? Oh yeah, there are. Oh, 92%? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> After Palace, you'll meet another thing called Heaven on High, which is Palace of the Dead for 10 to 60. Oh good god. Oh god. Oh god. I thought this was at 92%. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Ah! Where'd the people go?
Oh, you know what I haven't done in probably so long? I haven't leveled up my, uh... I have not leveled up my, uh... My Chocobo in a while. I probably have, like, a good amount of abilities on it, too. Oh god. Smack him with my book. If you ever die anywhere, just send me your location, I'll come res. <laughs> nice. Oh god. I think that I've only really died, well, as long as I don't jinx myself right here. I really only died like one time. All right, I don't, I don't like this 92% taking this long, so I'm just running. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, let me check companion, right? Rank two skills. Um, increase companion strength by that. Order to regen. Uh, attack potency of 150. Yes. Does the Chocobo automatically do these abilities, or do you have to equip them and then use them? Just dipped, literally. I'm not even gonna bother right this second. Oh, wait. Oh, there's two quests? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't pick up the other one. I didn't pick up Forgotten But Not Gone. Uh... Yeah, they all use them? Okay, good. Shoot. Since uh, Arcanist turns into summon, um, I just realized that there's two. I didn't even realize I was just picking up the one. Proceed. That's okay. We'll at least get summoner and then I can go back and pick up the other one. So, this, from my understanding, this quest is going to give me a soul stone, which I'm assuming is that, which is then going to make me into a summoner. And then the other class will give you a soul stone that turns you into a scholar. I think. Yes, okay. And then, okay, so then those stones. Jeez. Does this do anything when you use it? I guess that you should still use it. Is that? Uh, I guess I'll look afterwards. Die, you freak. Um. A shadow of the crimson nails. Shadow of the crimson nails. Go, go, go. I uh, I was gonna. S I'm assuming that's like an item that you can view inside here. Aha, soul crystal right there. So without that soul crystal, soul crystals are is what delves you into that next uh, class or uh, job technically. So then every other class gets their own. So it unlocks your full potential. Aha makes sense it allows you to use more skills cool, cool. do 
do you get more soul kit crystals as you uh, do stuff? Like, do they upgrade like stats like any other piece of gear? Or is it you get one and like that's that's that? I can kind of see it going both ways, but I'm not sure. Now you just have your skills. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was curious if like you'd get one and be like, if you you get your main one, and then it would be like, okay, now that you have your main one, uh, like that is your base stats, and now like okay, at level like 45, you'll get a second one that now it increases your fire damage or your summoners. I don't know, but I'm assuming that's just like your basic skills and stuff. It just unlocks it. Kind of more like a. a built-in cosmetic item i guess that just gives you new item new skills cool, cool. all right so back over here to my cheetos ethernet Yeah, having a stone just lets you unlock new skills, upgrading existing skills and stuff. I can't believe it took me that long to realize it. I was like, I was literally eating and I was like, wait a minute. Doesn't Arcanist break into two classes? So then I looked it up and I saw a reddit post where somebody said they were a level 50 arcanist and everyone was like you're poor dungeon mates <laughs> and I was like wait what and then it clicked and I was like wait no no I think I already did that and I realized no I'm, I'm still an arcanist I'm not a sum summoner or, or scholar yet and then further down in the uh, the comments it said do your your job your level 30 job missions and you'll get the uh soul stone or soul whatever stone quest complete dun, dun. summoner unlocked there we go You learn how to summon Ifrit. 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 Jobs. You have obtained a soul crystal. Soul crystals are required to change your uh, current class to a more specialized job. Each job has its own crystal, which can be equipped via the armor chest. While doing a job, you have limited access to actions from other classes. You will, however, access new job specific actions. Dial level and attribute bonus. Uh, concede to those side with those okay cool so what level is this at uh so <laughs> required so i need to put it on first i'm assuming i would just click this click that whip boom and now is that it okay so it says summoner now so what level do you have to be for this? Probably like 30... Dungeon requirement, the navel. Okay, I probably have to continue. Hey. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. So if I take it off, unequip, then I get this one. Which I honestly might do just to unlock the, um, the thing. And that way I just have it. Class, uh, class quests are now every five levels. Okay. And it seems like now the other one will switch your, your class to Scholar. Okay. I might get it just to have it. Maybe. I don't know. But actually, am I actually going to play Scholar? Do I even need to right now? Not really. 
But I am here. They level at the same rate. Oh, really? So if I'm like a level, I oh, really. So if I'm level 40, like that makes my scholar level 40 like that. If I'm a level 40 summoner, then it makes me, uh, I was level 70 who didn't even level scholar when I unlocked it, I was level 70. That's dope. That's dope. All right, yeah, might as well pick it up then. I'll take them abilities. Don't mind if I do. And then I'm assuming, so then, huh, it says my next summoner quest, I have to do some sort of dungeon, uh, which seems like, I guess it's locked behind the main story, uh, MSQ, unless if it's tied to this one, you don't lock it through the MSQ, okay, gosh, cool, cool. Oh, the scholar and that. Cool. Let's do it. I wonder, can can I equip this and still do the quest, or does it break it? Is it gone but not forgotten? Okay, it seems like I can equip it do it because then if i go here yeah okay all right that's still not bad marauders guild all right well now we know from now on whenever i get a level whenever i get a uh class quest for anything at all job quest do that first port we have this one though okay it's not bad you can go here uh potentially hit the ch uh well i don't have one for no more but i can hit up the uh the port or whatever it's called and take the boat over there and then go grab wine port so Grab this guy and run. It's interesting that each area has its own uh, uh, lev levies, leaves, levies. It's kind of cool though. It can definitely, I feel like it can definitely help with leveling stuff. There's so much stuff. I feel like some of this is like, some of the, is there junk in this game? As in stuff that I should go to like a person and sell? Like I feel like this is, well it's gra crafting material. My stuff's filling up fast. Grabber to rancher. Perfect. Literally perfect. Person's right here. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, 
all this in. I was wondering why I felt so like I felt like I was level 30 uh 36 with the same abilities as like level 20. <laughs> oh, figured out why. Defeat the bandits and reclaim the stolen relics. so cool that it, it expends it to everybody else. I love that. I feel like I'm so much more powerful now. cable or mouse All right, it's starting to get more difficult pressing these buttons on the keyboard stone stolen crate here we go need to check on my cables coming in go get this uh, stone up here and then I'll head up there treasures and tribulations why does that sound familiar actually that sounds really familiar like it unlocks something special I heard of that quest at one point does unlock something too. Cipher and dig, locate buried uh, coffer within 30 meters and extract it from the ground. Remove the time worn map from the glass prism and unlock its mysteries. Let's go back up here. Only four left. Four left to uh, use to travel. Oh boy. Where's it at? Marauder's Guild? Up there. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. And here we go. Here we go. Alright, okay. Okay, alright. Wait, what was that? Totally missed that last part. It's okay. 
Nice. Scholar unlocked. There we go. The soul of the scholar. You can summon a fairy to aid you in battle and you can call forth and words. Okay. <clears throat> um cool, yes, yeah, so it is tied together. Nice. That's dope. Cool stuff. Alright, let's go back to uh summoner here. Don't mind if I do. And Oh, it changes it changes up your entire Oh, really? So if I take that out oh damn. Alright, I get I get it. At least. Okay, it's rid of sprint, return. Uh teleport I already have. Play guide. Uh resurrection up there. Uh summon summon two there there ruin these they really do be changing up your abilities uh i had so bio no this one then this one then stores target HP right there and six gradually restores that and this guy that guy that was down there throw that there use uh so what's the difference between these okay that's that guy aha ifrit summon an attacker type pet to fight at your side and shares a recast timer or summon one and two okay cool I think we're good, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're good. Parties of the Earth, okay. Uh, or austerities of the Earth. New Giardina. We'll go pick up this quest. That song sounds like Halo. Every time I hear it, I think of Halo 3. Ethernet, uh, my Cheetos. Forever going to be naming that my Cheetos because of you, Yobex. You, you there. I know you're there. I think. Forever. That's right. You, you. That's right. You. Unless if you're not, then... <laughs> Alright, good. I'm not just pointing at the screen. <laughs> what? It says... It says it's available, though. But it's not available. I traveled all the way over here. And you're gonna tell me... That you're not even available. Whoa, that guy looks sick. Sir. Whoa. What? He even has a full face beard. Sir. How do I look like you? 
Is he a Highlander? Is there a way to tell what priest people are? Are you a scholar or summoner? I am a summoner. What? He has a beard. He's a Highlander? Oh my god, I'm about to... I'm about to... The Highlander that I made... He's really tall. Jeez. Um... So, different faces give you different, um... Wow, that's why I look so young. Sir. I wanted a beard like you, but I couldn't find it. I never got, like, one. Why does he look like XQC a little bit, too? <laughs> XQC when he's older. And a dad. He literally has the same hairstyle. His dyed hair. I'm honestly about to use, what's that potion called? It's like Fantasia. Here, we, here it is. Uh, I'm nervous. Now Rhea, your appearance and background move all gear. Wait, how do I do that? Wait, it told me so fast. I didn't even get to read it. It was literally two seconds. Reset display. Glamour plate. Oh. I'm honestly about to make myself a Highlander. Uh, FFXIV, how to use Fantasia. Do it. By using then logging out, you will be able to edit your character next time. Oh, okay. So, log out. Return. Start. Wait. I could have told you. LOL. Wait. Oh, God. I logged out. Ah. Uh, what do I do? You have to unequip your gear? Oh, really? Dude, you've been grinding. Yo, what's going on, N7 Neil? How you doing? Yeah, I've been grinding a bit. Wait, log in, cancel, access your sub command menu to re edit your character? Wait, what do I do? Wait, don't cancel. How do I. Ah! Might be okay. Backup character settings. New feature has been added to uh, allow you to save backups to your character settings and clients. Completely restart and make a new character. Ca right click your character name. Re edit character. Re edit. You must first log in and remove all. Return to the login screen when ready. Okay, so yeah, I do need to. Uh, the star. Cancel and access the sub command to re-edit. Okay, so you can log in. Phew. Uh. Re-edit your character. Delete? Just kidding. No. Not this far. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I would log out and I would never return. <laughs> I hope it I hope I'm not gonna risk it but I really hope that there would be a much more than just like I hope you have to type in delete or like type in your character's name in order to do it you bought it? No, I, no, no, no no I didn't buy it I had one I get one from uh uh, whatever the, I think I, so right before I started playing, I found somebody's code online. Well, I, there was a Highlander guy that was right here. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I saw he had a facial, facial hair. I'm going to honestly, wait, hold up. I saw how good your character looks. So now I'm going to change my character because I like how your character looks. Smiley face. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, unequip. So I have to take everything off. Oh, trip down. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> Alright, imagine if we could re enter our looks, but an IRL true. <laughs> this is just tombstone gear, nothing fancy. Yeah, but I, well. Yeah, but I like the. Yeah, but I couldn't find. Find a facial hair option. But I see you have it. <laughs> I would no cap on a stack. You can keep your weapon in Jobstone. Oh, rip. Well, we're going out. If I could be a cap fully IRL, I would. <laughs> I mean, it's 2020. All right, here we go. So we hit that, re-edit. Are you sure you wish to alter your character's appearance? Aesthetian exclusive hairstyles or face paint pan patterns will be unavailable depending on the race selected. Certain hairstyles and helmets will be unavailable. You may log in with this character as is. But previously saved, no. 2020. Yeah, true. It's almost 2021. All right. So, wait. So, real quick question: How do you unlock Brothgar and Viera? And what are they? Are they humans? Who twunk to hunk? <laughs> buy Shadowbringers. I did buy it. I haven't gotten to it yet, though. I bought it during the uh, the sale, actually. Rothgar is a lion race. And Viera are bunny ladies. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go Lalafell instead. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to go this guy. Rogaden. All right, so we go confirm and then Highlander. It's just the Highlander dude that I created originally looks so old. I hated it, but I'm okay with them looking older. I just did not like how my guy looked. Oh, Jesus, they're so tall. This is basically me that took, we're going to roll, put some RP into this. So basically we were born a child and all our lives we were, uh, training to become a summoner. And finally at the, the pristine age of 45, we became a summoner and we have graduated into, uh, I don't know. An older man, I guess. E. Uh, okay, so from my understanding, faces determine... Wait, so what? which face did that guy have? Yeah, so like, this is the face that I had originally, and I kind of hated it. That looks a little bit younger. And that looks a little bit younger. So faces determine on what facial hair you can have. See? Facial hair for Okay. Uh, Hrothgar, uh, yes, lol, he had phase four, indeed, okay, cool. Yeah, I had this guy at first, and I thought his face was so serious, and, like, my guy looked extremely old, but, like, these look definitely a lot younger. Two and four look a lot better. Okay. Damn, this dude's bulky, bulky too. Alright, we need to choose, uh, hairstyle. 
Now I might change it up. See, like, I, I like this, but I hate how long it is in the back. And that guy's hair wasn't actually too bad. Oh, 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 okay. All right, so now I need to actually go through these again. Damn. I didn't realize that these dudes were, like, ripped. Or, like, don't look as young as the other guys. Is the only way to change your hair um, later on by buying another one of these or using another one of these? Even that looks like better. No? Okay. Cool. This is the hair that he had. <laughs> what if I just went back in looking identical to him? It was like, hi, I am now you. Even that looks better on this dude than before. The hell? All the hairstyles look better than like anything I've had. So this, this hair, or this color, and then if I did that hairstyle, it's basically XQC. Just extremely buff, buffed out XQC. Not XQC. <laughs> I might actually do this. This hair is not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I don't mind this. Jesus, dude. This guy is ripped. All right, now I'm actually, so, you know, for a while there, like, not going to lie. Like, I'm not like the biggest, like, uh, weeb or anything, but uh, now that I can actually, like, mess around a little bit more with the styles and make my guy look a little bit better in my eyes uh it definitely makes me appreciate it a lot more kind of feel like my guy's eyes are like pretty closed so i'm gonna do a little bit better iris size yeah that's fine eye color gotta go green greenish yeah that's good green Good green. Very good green. Oof. Eyebrows. I might mess with the hair again, but that's okay. Wait, why is it, it? It feels like he doesn't even have an eyebrows. He has eyebrow shadow, shadows. Nose. Probably going to leave nose as is, but what about five? That's uh, pretty big. Mouth. Probably gonna leave mouth as is. Yeah. The color, same. Facial features. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I like to see. A full beard. See, this is what I was trying. I was trying to get a beard on my other character, but all he had was a little, like, mustache. And that's it. Mustache and, like, a goatee. That's all I'll let me have. I love that hair. Highlanders don't have eyebrows, just eyebrow bone. You can add a face paint that imitates eyebrows. That's funny. Huh. <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> oh, like that. Can I imitate a unibrow? Yes. <laughs> or, well, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, that guy sounds so much older. Let me check uh, hairstyles one more time. I don't mind this, and I feel like it's it, it, it kind of is fitting for Jesus. You know what? I'm going to go with that. Perfect. 
Is there actually any characters out there that run like this? I feel like there has to be. Or even this. My friend does. <laughs> nice. I could see, you know, making like a samurai and having this actually pretty dope. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to stick with that. Wow. What a, uh, a change in uh, uh, looks. Looks like Sam from Metal Gear. I've never played that one, but I have it and I want to. Voice, all right. I don't want any like super. I think one's good. That laugh reminds me a little bit of Kiru. All right, that's good. I think we're, uh, I think we're set. Wow. Yeah, we'll save. I'll save it too. I even uh, save it on top of this guy. From wow, the last time I played was 2018. I thought I played in 2019. Jeez. Uh, everything else uh, I'll leave the same. The scholar. Cool. Let's do it. Are you satisfied with the changes? Yes. Log back in. Ah, yeah, I actually see that. Especially with the one piece of hair, or yeah, coming over on the left side. That's funny. All right, time to log back in and put our clothes back on. You know, with with that world cue, you wouldn't know any better. <laughs> if you didn't know that he was wearing something underneath. <laughs> I literally saw that guy's character and was like, you know what? I'm changing my character. <laughs> and here we are. So much taller. I do think that my clothing is a little goofy looking though, to be honest, but that's okay. Because as we as we level, of course, we'll get better stuff. But I feel much more satisfied with my character now than before. Uh, also, it sucks because we're literally right here. Whoa. Uh, I thought that fairy was following me. We're literally right here. And it says the quest is right here. But dungeon requirement, the navel. Navel. So I guess whenever we do that, unless if I have it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I only have two left. Once I hit 37, I'll be at the level that I was when I stopped playing. But I, I definitely feel a lot more invested this time around than previously. So it's all good. It's all good. Ah, shoot, you know what I just realized? I don't have my 
my mount equipped or my food, uh, my companion or my, f yeah, this guy right there. Um, so we need to take that and then filter voucher redeemed by sign for instant. Oh, I just realized what? Wow. This entire time I've had that and never realized. Eight third good for a single journey. Oh, we only have one more. I have one that takes me to there. Containing a weapon on level 21 for 23. What? I've had that too. There's so many things. Uh, I go through these now. Jellyfish. Succubus card. Okay. Level 24 gear. Go through these more often. All right, so where's all that food that I have? Uh, flatbread. Oh wait, it's already there. No, 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 no. Don't discard it. Ah. Eat. All right, cool. Uh, report to there. Oh, wait a minute. That's Vesper Bay. You know what? But I'm already here, so I'm just gonna hop on to the chocobo. I think it's faster to use my own mount now, but I don't have to drive if I take the uh, Chocobo quarter thing, so I'd rather do that. Uh, character configuration. Uh, item, display name, and targeted. That's pretty dope. What the? Dr. Fancy. Just a little fancy. <clears throat> now I wonder what my guy would look like with that, uh, that giant coat that I have. The glamour. <laughs> It'd be funny if uh, she responded and was like, Menphilia, oh, Cassis, you look very different than I saw you last. <laughs> well, yes, yes, I do. See, I became the summoner. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume. Voice acted. 
special moment. Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. Worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. <gasps> Our task will be to slay the Primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the Endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, two Primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the Beast Tribes, and the Kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Wait. Expect the worst. Confused why I couldn't change to Hrothgar if I wanted the to. The Maelstrom's back help there. is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the Kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the Sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. So you will accept? Thank you. We can't very well send him to Limsa Lominsa without your stola, can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yashtola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Sancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange, <laughs> send word to the students of Baldessian and <laughs> Alfino, if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan, little though it may be. This, the cosmetics are You'll so expensive. You'll be apprised of the crazy. tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Eighteen dollars for provision yourself for the journey. A schoolboy outfit. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Please. Then there's there there are some other ones that are pretty cool too. Motorcycle is pretty sick. I'm just going through this real quick. I'm just curious. Like what? Wait, like here's that. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. The chocobo. Saintly Barding. Um, this thing is kind of cool. I could see wearing that as like a... Eh, uh, kind of. There's a cooler one, though. But, uh, dude, it breaks. It... Cloud's motor, but is that... Is that technically Cloud's bike? Yeah, I don't really know much about... um.
that. Looks, looks so. Huh. That's pretty sick. I thought these were pretty funny too. You can get a wind up cloud or Tifa or like things like that. <laughs> Two characters or one character. This hurts me. The fact that like if you buy one of these outfits, to so say if I wanted to buy this female werewolf set, not, okay, never mind. That's five dollars. That's not horrible. But if you wanted to get, uh, uh, I don't know, costume set. I wanted to buy uh, any one of these. It's only for one character. Insane. It's crazy. Like this suit, you only get on one character. That hurts me. Yeah, what? Is she? Oh wait, where's this guy? Where's this person at? Do you think? The after castle? Okay. That, that, that. <laughs> Last one. Now we have to start using our gill. Luckily, we have 291,000. <laughs> I find it very hard to go broke like that. Unless if something can happen that is completely unexpected, at least. Somebody's name is Dripping Wet. Nice. A lot of hugs are going around right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are they? Oh, whoa, whoa. About to be like, whoa, six feet, y'all. Six feet. Bounty hunter. This dripping wet guy is really getting, uh, or a person. After castle. After castle. So, Maelstrom Command. What have we got here? Oh my god. I wasn't going to open for a second there.
probably do like one or two more quests chat and then call it there I yeah I know right I woke up today and I said I'm gonna stream long Tomorrow, um, so chat for the rest of the week, I'm gonna try and actually stick to like a, a decent schedule and be on by like 1 32 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern time for streaming because I'm gonna be away on the weekend. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what's what else is gonna be happening so. This week and honestly in the next few weeks, however long it is, I'm going to try to be a little bit more strict with my, my stream schedule because hopefully I'll have a, a job here soon and then uh, I'll have to change it up again, but that's okay. Twenty-four hour stream? Hell no. I don't know if I'll ever do a twenty-four hour. To be honest, that's like you have to have a lot planned for that kind of thing. Twelve hours even feel a little bit long for me nowadays. Not not really though. I mean they're not like too long, but they're just I don't know. I always feel like personally, like when you do a long stream like that, I feel like you need to like do something special. Now I know that's not the case, but it's just like I don't know. I feel like if you're doing like a 12 hour stream, like there has to be like an occasion, but it, you don't have to, I, I don't know, like lying to myself. Like you can do a 12 hour stream for the sake of just doing a 12 hour stream or do a 24 hour. I just would feel bad. like. Not, I guess not really feel bad, but I would feel like weird playing one game for 12 hours. I don't know. Or 24. Even though it's not like that at all. It's like play what you want. And I know that. <laughs> same thing with, I, I feel the same thing with charity streams. Like charity streams, I always feel like you need to change it up, but that's not really it. You can literally just play what you normally play or play whatever you want. The same thing. And, you know, that. But again, I just feel like, I don't know. Personally, I feel obligated to do like something new or different than usual. down quick
23 hour Final Fantasy 14 stream, then one hour of card opening. <laughs> True. That actually doesn't sound bad. I, I like the, the like little community of, uh, well, not little. It's, it's actually pretty big. Like Final Fantasy 14 is one of the bigger games. I probably would say that I play currently. Um, it's not like it's a huge game, but like it does get like, it, it's kind of up there sometimes up there for like higher uh, views and stuff. So at, at the same time, it kind of has its own uh, like niche too, which is pretty cool. What? Is that, he put a bomb? Uh, what's gonna happen? Almost got it. Got it. Duty failed. I literally destroyed it with the last second. Unless if I was supposed to stop him. Bomb. Okay. Very easy. That's that works for me. Probably should have changed the title too. Because now we're a summoner. Boom. Don't even try killing me. That's cheating. Who picked up these boulders? There's nothing to like. Ah, what the hell with it? Yeah, literally. Oh, no. Oh, that's why he... I think because I did AoE damage to him. Bah. That's because he's a cheater. Oh. All right, I admit it. <laughs> Five seconds of self-destruct. Quick, get out of there before we fail it again. Oh, nice. We are literally like 2000 XP, 2300 XP away from uh, 37. This might actually bump me up to 37 right here. Whoa, sir. Thank you. 37. Boom. I have officially reached the level I, ha I was when I left the game. <laughs> so it's time to leave again all right that's gonna be it uh with this playthrough right here no i'm just kidding but that is gonna be it for me for today though um i feel like that's a good point stop we're in a uh <laughs> we're in a area where um we get rested xp and stuff <laughs>